basically I have a Y line and this is what it looks like. So just as I was going to uh, start recording for you guys for the day, I was going to tell you guys, get down about my new company. I finally switched over. They came over two days ago or yesterday. And I was gonna tell you about how I accessed my line. And as soon as I get in the car, I take the camera, I put it onto the seat, and then I feel wetness in my leg. And I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, all right, well, maybe it's a dog, it's a drool. I look over. And my line has pulled. So, there's blood through my line. Um, I guess I can still technically flush it because I have a Y extension just to get the blood back. But I did uh, close it out. I can't remove because I'm so stuck and this thing is so freaking short, this, this uh, tubing compared to all my other tubing. But, and the lighting in here is horrible. I can't even do it. But anyway, so I got this thing, the black thing down there, clamped um, so that there's no air, any extra air going in. But um, anyway, this really freaking sucks. I was like, oh, it's just an, an innocent part that I can actually fix, but I guess I can't. So I'm going to have to call them, tell them that I couldn't infuse, and I'm literally just in the car so that I can go take the dogs to the park. But instead... I can't hold my camera for one, but instead, look, I'm holding you guys with my, the arm, uh, the band, but I, this is what it looks like right now. So this is a really weird position, but I can't get the cannon to like stay up because of where I'm at. Anyway, so I'm at the park, and as you guys know, I was still at home and I felt water on my whole body, basically my legs, but it actually landed on my side because as now I'm at the park, my whole side of my shirt is completely soaking wet. All right, so. Basically, I have a Y line, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's missing the blue clave. The blue clave is attached to the line that is spiked into my bag. So immediately, I closed it off so that there's no air or no more air. And this whole line, you probably can't even see on camera, but it's filled with blood. So I'm like, all right, well, this sucks. Maybe. Um, like I even clamped this off, so maybe the air didn't flow in, so I was like, oh, hey, like, can we call the nurse, maybe she can disconnect the Y line and put a new line on, or do I have to complete this, like, deaccess? So I called her, I've only met her once, I already know I don't like her, she's a nice person, but she sucks as a nurse. I actually had to tell her things and ask her if we missed something, and she's like, oh, you know what, yeah, I probably should have done this. She's just, and she prolongs everything. So I'm on the phone with her and she's basically saying, I'm um, sorry, someone's petting freckles. I, I'm like, she's like, so do you feel comfortable just cleaning this and putting a new clave on it? And I go, she goes, because I most likely, if I come to you, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to basically take some alcohol and really clean it and just put a new clave on it. And then you can reboot into your, you know, your bag and take off the old broken clave. And I go, I mean, I can do it, yes. I was like, but is that really what you would do? I'm like, this, I don't know how long I was dripping. I mean, even one minute, that's one minute that this could have had air that went through, this was still open and going through right to my port and into my heart. This was still locked, because I'm not using it. But I don't know how air, how fast it travels. And she's like, nope, nope, nope. I mean, she goes, I can pull the line. She goes, but really, if it was anybody else, and there was, and I wouldn't give you the option. I would just do that first. Is I would just clean around it. If you want, you can take it and kind of clean inside of it, and then just pop it back in. And if you do use both sides, then prime the new clave and then attach it first. What do you guys think? <coughs> Excuse me, moi. Oh, I don't not like the lighting right now. I see. I gotta fix. I gotta fix that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think the lighting's a little bit better there. Whoa. Okay, so I'm home. So I basically just put 
like an alcohol swabby and and put this in here just for secure me because I actually had a little bit if I had my own car I would have had a little bit more supplies but I was in my dad's car holy cleavage um so I'm going to do what the nurse said and that was to just put a new cap on it and that's the end of it someone said they I can draw black not black draw back some like air just in case and maybe get some blood return to like but I'm like, ah, so I'm a little nervous about that. And I heard that it takes like 20 mLs to like blow your heart or whatever of air. So I don't know. We're just going to have to say, do what the nurse says. And then if something happens to me, well, it's on her, right? I'm just literally cleaning it. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to draw black any, draw black, I keep saying draw black, draw back any like air that can be in there. But at least, <laughs> I don't even know. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. So I'm going to do another one just because I also want to get like inside. like inside the tubing itself and then go around it uh, and, uh, okay now I'm gonna decide what I want to do I also have to get a clave I'll get one of these. This one's a little bit different. One solid, one's like sheer. And now the question is, do I try to draw back any air? I mean, I guess drawing back isn't bad. People draw black. Ah, I don't know what to do, guys. All right, so I just drew back blood flow. And I guess I, in case there was air in there, I don't want to Yeah, I don't even know where I go from here. This is all new for me, and this is what happens when the nurse is like, yeah, you can do it yourself. And I'm like, uh, okay. and see if this is giving me issues and it's going through and tasting the nastiness and so far I'm not dying I think I did it <laughs> so I basically just drew back if there was any air, basically blood came right out because I tried to take it off. I didn't know what to do. The blood was coming out. So I basically just reclamped everything and then took the clave, put the clave on and then pushed the blood back in and now everything is primed. But yeah, that there's no but I guess that's really it. So yeah, good to go. Today's vlogging ended up being not what I was hoping to do, but... <laughs> You know, it is what it is, you know. It could have been worse, I guess. Um, oh my god, my dad is sitting here. You can't even see. I wish you could. Oh well. So I got my dogs completely off topic now, but I got my dogs a big bed or bed uh, pool on the front porch. Freckles, for some reason, doesn't really care to go in it. Because when we go to the park, she jumps in the water like just like crazy jumps in it and I can't get her in the pool I had to lift her and she jumped right back out I try to like throw toys in there and she just she looks at the toys and grabs from the outside but Gizmo on the other hand is loving it loving it so I restarted my 
infusion back there so the bag i got from my first company i never used i don't even know where it is they didn't ask for it back when i returned the pump um but it was crap it was like a pouch that goes over your hip and i'm like i'm not wearing that plus all the heaviness this one's a book bag and it has a place for the pump it has a place for the bag it has a place for all the wiring and tubing plus other places in case you want to bring like other medication so that's really cool um I wish it looked more like a book bag. It has like this weird crappy strap, but it's easy because you can move the straps from left to right in case you're left-handed or right-handed or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, and since the video, the vlog did not go the way it was planned, meaning like I planned on just like talking you guys and hanging out with you guys in the wall. It was mainly, whoa, <laughs> it was mainly about what the heck just happened. And I guess that's cool. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna stay and vlog pretty much the rest of the day um, because I feel like I don't know but I feel like this is long it might be only five minutes for I know so I'm going to enjoy the day I'm going to since I just started my infusion I only got like 10 minutes in maybe 15 minutes um, I have six hours fairly much to go and so I think I'm just going to just enjoy the day I'd be outside but it's way too hot for me like my body's gotten used to certain things I can stand up I can work out ish I can do outdoor stuff activities you know snow removal to a certain extent but heat is still a big trigger and I can't be out in it unless we have like a pool anyway I'm gonna enjoy my day and just relax and I will see you guys next time um, I hope you all are being safe and enjoy your Friday. Peace. All right, so let me just do this real quick. Um, I'm having issues with my pump. My pump decided that it wanted to just stop working. And so with my pump, I come with um, a battery that looks like this. You basically um, can keep charging it with the, the wire. She's like, it will take you about three days or three uses to get through it. I used it once, so six hours. Um, now ever since i got this line started everything's fine and dandy it stops working the screen is completely black no matter what button and on a button or off button nothing would do anything but the noise was basically what you hear here a constant so i said all right well, what do i do so i took out the battery didn't stop anything i disconnected this it did nothing it just kept making noises i'm like how does it make noises when there's nothing in the system to get it going it's like having a heart without a heart you're dead you know so then I said, I, uh, I, I'm like, well, they gave me those batteries, but they said if that ever has issues, you can just use AA batteries, the ones that they gave me. So I put the four AA batteries in, and it actually turns on. And it says this, basically to replace the AA batteries, which is like, okay, these are brand new batteries. That's weird. But then the more weird thing is it says right here that it's fully charged. Like, okay, so these batteries are good, the four separate AA batteries. So I take it out and re-put this in. The screen is black, but it makes noise. So this doesn't do anything. Put the batteries back in, and it still does this with this. Now I go out my way, because these are the batteries that they give you. I go out my way, get a big box of AA batteries that I have here at home that I got from like Walmart, you know, Durex, one of the nine brands. Put them in, and this is what's in them now. And it's still doing it when it's fully charged. So now I've tried three kind of batteries and it won't do anything like and I mean you can't even press buttons it just does this so I basically have a messed up pump I can't confuse my bag that's fully full and between this morning's crap and this I'm done I then call them and the one lady that's helped me to get started she's very sweet but ever since then I've had people that I'm not trying to be rude but don't speak very good English and they seem like they don't know what things are like what is a port what's a peripheral line what what what, what a pump a pump for what I had that the other a few days ago I'm like a pump you know like this and she goes are you sure you're calling the infusion company I go a pump is for infusion it's like yes like I'm having issues I am like I am so mad that I switched companies because at least there they knew what they were talking about but they were just in the wrong these people are like they don't know what's going with what so now she's like we're really busy, so we're just gonna have to call you back. I go, what? I'm always able to speak to some to speak to somebody at my old company, no matter what. There's tons of people on the on their phone, on the website, through text, and I've never. I, they've always had to call me back. So that's my issue.
now i'm done.